My name is Crystal. I'm a second year mechanical engineering student. I'll be here today to share with you all the important things you need to know before coming to UBC. As we all know, UBC is a huge school, so you might be wondering how I should make friends here. New students are invited to participate in Jumpstart, which is a week-long orientation at the beginning of the school year. You'll be able to explore the campus, meet new people, and try many, many cool activities. Another great way to make friends is through living on residence. In residence, we will meet people from all around the world from different faculty and you will be able to bond together really fast because you are basically sharing a lot of common space together every single day. If you are commuter students, don't worry. You can also choose to join UBC Collegia, which is a common space for commuter students to hang out between classes and have some fun. Joining student teams or clubs will also allow you to make friends really fast as you all share a common goal or have similar interests. The engineering course load is a bit heavy. Students usually take five or even six classes per semester. And in first year, engineering students typically take 12 or 13 classes throughout the school year. However, many students choose to take summer classes or even extend the degree in order to reduce the workload a little bit. And I definitely recommend doing so if you're feeling too overwhelmed. I know you might feel a bit of stretch coming from high school to university in terms of the course curriculum, but I can assure you that you are not alone. UBC Engineering has a lot of great supports such as the US mentoring, as well as you can always go to your professor's office hour and TA's office hours to ask questions. And I also recommend studying with friends and help each other out. So you are not alone. Don't worry, just try your best. Try to go to all the live lectures and tutorials if you can and really be present at the moment to absorb all the knowledge. Moving on to extracurricular activities. You are in luck because UBC has great extracurricular cultures. In UBC Engineering alone, there are more than 30 student design teams and I'm sure you'll definitely find something that fits your interest. We have UBC Rocket, UBC Submarine, to all the way to race cars, UBC Solar, Orbits, there's all sorts of different activities you can choose from. Participate in a design team is a great way to strengthen your engineering skills as well as explore many different technical areas and it will be really helpful when you apply for jobs because the company is really interested in students' hands-on experience. In addition to student design team, you can also choose to join the AMS student clubs. We have more than 150 clubs on campus and you can even start your own club. If you want to earn some extra cash, you can always choose to apply for a part-time job or a work-learn program. So for example, my position as a student blogger is actually a work-learn position. Work-learn position is a time of job that you can work up to 10 hours a week and it is really flexible depending on your study schedule. It allows you to experience the professional working environment but also getting a lot of learning opportunities from the staff and faculty. And since it's really flexible, you can always adjust your working time accordingly. Next, I want to talk about living on campus in first year and its mandatory meal plan. First year students have guaranteed housing, meaning as long as you apply by May 1st, you would guarantee a spot in the first year resident. Most first year students will be placed in the three main resident area, Ultra Commons, Tolan Park, and Vanier but some students might be placed in the Ritzemagen house. Ultra Commons is the newer resident area. They have a apartment vibe and the rooms are really nice and polished. All the rooms in Ultra Commons are single connected rooms, meaning you are only sharing your bathroom with your roommates. And the dining area called the Open Kitchen is located at the bottom floor of Ultra Commons. There are also many study rooms and gym and ping pong table facilities in the building. So you basically have everything you need in Ultra Commons. Tilden Park is another residence area located right across from Ultra Commons. It's mostly made up from all the traditional housing. However, there are two buildings that are relatively new, so they're mostly single connected rooms. In the other building store in Tolan Park, they're mainly traditional housing, meaning you can choose to live in a single room or double room. Most of them need to share bathroom and also floor lounge with everyone on your floor. You can also choose to live in a single gender or mixed gender floor. The Ritz Megan house is located right next to Tolan Park. They're more like apartment style housing, meaning in apartment, you will share with your three other housemates. Each of you will have your own 
a, a ba bedroom, but you will be sharing two bathrooms, one kitchen, and also a living room. The other resident area called the Place Vanier is a bit distance away from the other resident areas. It is also made up by more traditional housing, meaning it's more single room doubles and less connected single room. The next topic I want to talk about is about Vancouver, where UBC is located in. Vancouver is considered to be one of the most beautiful cities and one of the most comfortable cities to live in. Especially when you're living in UBC where the campus is just absolutely beautiful. You can, for example, go to Rag Beach to see the sunset or even bike down to Spanish Bank to enjoy the water. There's always something you can do in, in, in campus or around campus. In Vancouver, you can always find yourself surrounded by the great nature and the weather is really comfortable to live in most of the time and we rain a lot but it's just always a lot of sun during the summer. And these are basically everything you need to know before coming to UBC. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. You can always DM us at, at Engineering Stories on Instagram as well. I wish you all the best and I'm looking forward to see you on campus.